name is Father Michael Protopopov. I'm the parish priest of the Russian Orthodox Church in Dandenong and have been so for the last 30 years. Um, I moved into the Dandenong area because of the church, but for 17 years I was also chairman of the Migrant Resource Centre and I'm also chair of the Russian Welfare Society where we are at present. We have a hundred or so residents living in various levels of care, some residential, some in, um, in, in home care and so on. So we're looking after our community here, but we're also looking after people who, who need a bit of support. And within the Russian community here in Dandenong, we have a school, we have um, two halls, one of which is for rental and people use all the time, and the other one mainly for the use of our own community. So there's quite a tight-knit family of some 250 families in this area. But we have connections with the Serbian community and with the wider Australian community in many, many projects. We produce newsletters, we have concerts, our elderly group, the Russian Seniors Club, they mingle with other seniors clubs to give everyone the opportunity to showcase themselves in our community and for us to showcase ourselves to the other communities with whom we we deal. So there's quite a lot of interaction here. We want to show that we're an established community, a Russian community in Dandenong has been here for 50 years and as I said before I've been here for 30 of those 50 years in this parish here. My name's Ivan Papadopoulos, I've been uh, here at uh, Kronstadt Gardens now working with Father Michael for a number of years. He certainly has set up in this area a very uh, um, extensive helping arrangement for the elderly and also for uh, his local community and um, one is inspired by uh, the work that he has done both um, religiously, spiritually but also generally in terms of uh, uh, the assistance that's offered uh, through the Welfare Society. Um, on a day-to-day -day basis, uh, his uh, contribution is uh, very visible, um, not only in just the governance of the society and also the, uh, the gardens here, the Kronstadt Gardens uh, aged care facility, but um, at, uh, at one phone call he could be racing off uh, interstate or uh, or uh, to any part of Melbourne where his uh, services uh, are required. Um, now that type of uh, service is uh, not easy to come by and uh, also uh, um, very much appreciated I think by uh, the local community here but also the extended community around uh, Dandenong, Dandenong South. Hi, I'm Julia Carell. I'm the HR manager at St John of Constant Russian Welfare Society aged care facility. Um, I'd really like to talk a little bit about Father Michael Protopopov. Uh, he's someone who's done great things for the Russian community, in fact wider than the Russian community um, in the Dandenong area and the greater Dandenong area. I've worked closely with Father Michael now for five years but my family association with Father Michael goes back many, many years. Both of my parents worked with Father Michael closely um, while he was establishing um, the Russian Welfare Society in Dandenong. He's um, actually been the chair of the Russian Welfare Society for the past 24 years. He's been the Dandenong Parish Priest for 30 years and, and also um, was one of the founding members of the uh, Migrant Resource Centre um, in Dandenong and was its chair for 17 years. So he's done, he's contributed huge amounts to the local community, the Russian community, the greater Slavic community in the area and has embraced community partnerships to build a lot of services um, around aged care and around welfare and around community programs. But I myself am a migrant. I came here in 1949 as a DP. There'd be very few people in Australia who'd know what a DP is anymore. They were the displaced persons after the Second World War from Europe. Um, I grew up here, I went to school here, I, primary, secondary, university and 
have always been connected to a, a migrant community and therefore it was a natural progression to go on and help other migrants as well who were in need of, of support and, and just a friendly person to speak to and understand how they could get, overcome their um, initial settlement issues. Mm -hmm.